Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So for those of you that have been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I don't do sponsored videos. I do get a lot of emails about music related products, even products that aren't music related, uh, mobile games as well, but I don't really uh, like to feature those on my channel because I like to keep it really music based and and just keep it about the music and there's nothing against channels that do sponsored videos it's just something that isn't really for me anyway it brings us to this video which is a sponsored video and uh, given just what I've said you will probably appreciate that if something comes along that I think will genuinely help a lot of people and it is very specific to either learning how to play an instrument how to sing or just an educational tool that can be used then I will definitely draw your attention to it and tonight is the night for that to happen. So I've been approached by the company that make the app called Moises and there are so many applications for this musically whether you are a recreational guitarist or singer whether you're a professional musician if you're just in a band, if you're just looking to get more out of music and you just might be a fan and you want to hear things in a bit more detail, I'm going to be taking you through the app and I'll have it on my phone, but you guys will be able to see my phone on the other side of the screen. So we'll be looking at it in real time. So the first thing to mention is that the app is free to download and there's a link in the description below. So click on that. It will take you where you need to go. You will get some functionality with the free version of the app, but I'm going to be showing you tonight the premium content. So we get access to every single tool within the app and and if you want access to that, you can pay for it monthly or 12 months in advance. And that's going to work out cheaper and it means that you don't have to worry about it for 12 months. So I'm just going to grab my phone and as you can see, I've got the app open already. I'll put it on the screen nice and big at the side here so you can see what I'm seeing. I've set up a profile already, of course, so it means you'll have to put in your email and come up with a password, but then you'll see this screen when you start the app and when you've logged in. So you can see that it is the premium subscription that I'm on, which means it's gonna unlock everything. And you can put in your skills if you want to. And you can see here that I've put in a little bit of what I do. And if there are instruments that you play, you can put in the instruments that you play, whether you're a singer as well, and the kind of level that you're at with each of those. Underneath, you can put in your goals, you know, whether you're working at production, practice, teaching, playing for fun, just looking to learn, songwriting, perform live. You can see it all on the screen but just little things that you can put in. And I think this is good for Moises as well to get an idea of what people are using the app for because it's got so many uses that <laughs> that list really can go on forever. But we will jump into now uploading a song and then I'm gonna show you what this app can do. So I'm gonna press the plus at the bottom of the screen and we now get some options as to where we want to import a song from. And you'll see the first one is import from URL. So that's just a website. If you have a song that's being hosted on a website somewhere, just place that in and it will grab the song from there. If you are using a computer, then you'll have access to the web version of the app at moises.ai and you can import from a URL there. And the great thing is that the web version of the app and the mobile mobile version of the app are fully integrated. So anything that you import from the internet on your computer, your PC or Mac will be available on the mobile version of your app. Gallery is going to be on your phone, so you'll be able to go and find it stored on your phone if it is indeed stored on your phone. But the files app will allow you to go in and search for the file or the song, wherever it may be. I'm going to do that. So I'm pressing on files app and it's going to bring up the screen. This is actually my Dropbox. So I've got my album here and I can look through the songs and I'm going to press on greed. And now it says it's retrieving my file. Now we've got these options where we can say exactly what we want the app to do with the song that we are importing. And you'll see that you can have 
the separation of vocals, drums, bass, other, vocals, instrumental, vocals, background, vocals, instrumental, vocals, drums, bass, guitar, other. So I won't read them all out, but you start to get the idea that you can separate up a song exactly how you want to and hear everything independently as it is listed. What I'm going to do is select vocals, background vocals and instrumental. The reason that I'm choosing this is because when I was first contacted by Moises, this option didn't exist. And this really does highlight the fact that the app is constantly evolving. Because it's using artificial intelligence, it means that the computer's learning constantly. So there are always going to be updates to this app that's going to make it more efficient and it's going to allow it to do more things. Once that artificial intelligence learns how to separate up different parts of a song before it couldn't distinguish between vocals and background vocals. So I'm going to choose that and we're going to put it through its paces on one of my songs to see how it separates those up. You can also see at the bottom of the screen set selected option to all uploads. You can click that on if you always want to choose vocals, background vocals and instrumental but I'll click that off and then I'm going to press submit. You'll see now that it's uploading the file. So this is now taking it up to the servers, the Moises servers, in readiness to then be isolated with the options that we've chosen. At this point, we now just have to wait. As we can see, it's queued. So the song has been uploaded. Now we just have to wait for Moises to do its magic. And what I'm going to do is probably just jump forward in this process because you guys don't have to sit here waiting for me. But it looks like it's processing already. And there we have it. It has completed and it took about two minutes, maybe a little bit under. So I'm now going to press on greed and you can see it says three tracks. And straight away. Let me just pause it because it will auto play the track. We can hear the song playing, which is great. So you'll be able to see on the screen. Now we've got three tracks effectively. Two of those are going to be the vocals and one of those is just going to be the instruments. And you can see you get an export option. So you can export these mixes and however you want to arrange these levels you can export them and do what you want with them. So I'm now just going to play this through. And you'll see at the top of the screen, we have the D sharp there, F sharp, G sharp minor. Those are the chords of the song. So already it is broken down the chords for you whatever you're listening to, whatever the song may be, it'll give you the chords. Now, I want to take out the lead vocal. So what I'm going to do is allow this to play through. Now the fire's burning low. And you can hear that my lead vocal is in there. Now, if I take that down, we should now just hear the backing and any harmony vocals that are going on because that's what we chose at the beginning that we wanted to hear. We wanted to separate those up into separate tracks so now we can mix it as we like. So I've left a little bit of the lead vocal in there. You can remove it totally if you want to. You know, say for example, you only wanted to hear the vocal, this the lead vocal, let's just do that. Of the world, knowing who I was. And then you can just hear my voice by itself. Really clever stuff. And at the bottom of the screen, I'm now going to click on the bottom left. We're going to get into the applications of this app and how you can use it after I just explain the functions. But at the bottom left, we have a metronome. That's what it looks like. I'm going to get these levels back to kind of roughly where they were and I'm going to press on the metronome at the bottom left. So when I press that, I'm now going to just press play. It's actually saying at the bottom already 155, but let me just push it down and press play again. Hey, I wanna become... 
So now we can hear a metronome going along with the song. So, you know, if you're wanting to play a particular song, you know where to place it, what kind of tempo you're aiming for. Right, let me click on that option again because you'll see that you can adjust the volume of the metronome, whether you want it left or right, kind of panning it. If you've got headphones on, you might want to do that. You can see subdivision. That's going to give you either um, a a noise per beat of the bar is probably better for me just to play it so then you can hear the difference in application and then it'll give you double time or half time. Have a listen. Here's how the story goes. When you fly too close to the sun, you will see, you will get shot down. So hopefully that gave a good example of what it was doing and it's just trying to calculate it automatically. Now with my songs the tempo might go up a little bit, it might slow down a little bit, so it's just trying to calculate roughly what that beats per minute is, at least giving you a guide. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to hear me while the app is playing because I'm just going to explain what I'm doing when I'm doing it, so let me press play. Now, I'm going to slow it down, and the allegrissimo that you can see on the screen, that will change. That's just an Italian word, a uh, classification for the speed of what you're playing. You don't have to worry too much about that, but interesting if you wanted to know. So, taking it back, you'll see the word change because the slower or faster a tempo is, it has a different name when you're reading music. But anyway, listen to it now. So, I'm going to stop it there. We're going to get into the practical applications of what we can do with this app now because I wish I had this app 15 years ago when I started teaching because we can slow things down. And it means you can hear things in so much more detail when you're trying to work out parts of a song. Not only can you slow it down, but you can isolate the instruments in order to hear those more clearly and slow them down. I was just about to jump into listening to this in slow motion, just getting rid of the vocals so that we could hear what the guitar's doing in the middle eight. And it's going to bring me to another function of the app because the tuning on my songs, on my album, is in E flat. The guitar that I've got is in standard tuning, so E. So it means that if I'm trying to play along with this or work out what's going on, when I isolate the guitar, it's going to be different. So I'm gonna play it so you can hear the difference. So if I'm now trying to play the same as that, I've got kind of along those lines and I think well it doesn't sound the same because I'm tuned differently. Now I'm going to click on the bottom right of the app and you can now change the key of the song. So all I do is press the minus and now it's going to be even lower than it was. What I actually want to do is take it up to where my guitar is. So it's now in E minor, which will now match exactly what I'm playing. Let me now just get rid of that. So now we can hear, we're now back in tune. And I wish I had this when I was teaching 15 years ago, because it means that any song you could wish for, you can change into the key that you want, but you don't have to start messing around with, you know, tuning your guitar, changing, you know, taking every string down half a step. Just take the song up half a step. Let me now apply this to singing. Huge application here. Say, for example, you're singing a song or you're attempting to sing a song. You've got a song that you've uploaded, you've isolated everything, you've got your five tracks, but you think, right, I want to take out the lead vocal because I want to sing along with this. But then you realize it's too high. I can't reach the notes. 
You can change the pitch, bring it down to your range so that you can now sing your favorite songs without having to reach ridiculously high notes, or it might be the other way around, that the notes are too low. So then you bring it up to where your voice sits naturally to give yourself so much of an easier ride when you're learning to sing. Another huge application for it there. So this isn't just for guitar players, it's for singers, it's for musicians. If you've got a friend who's a musician and you don't even play an instrument or sing yourself, just refer them to this app because they will thank you, I assure you. So anyway, let's just jump back into this mid late. I'll press play. So you can hear now, we get such a clear indication of this. You know, it's clear as day, rather than if we're listening to it at full speed, it'll be like this. So, I mean, even with those chord changes, hearing them at full speed, you won't be able to pick out those notes as clearly. And remember, we're listening to the instrumental part of the song, all of the instruments isolated. So we get to hear them more clearly. You wouldn't have the opportunity to do that. So you'd be trying to hear this guitar part underneath the vocal. So this is what the app has done. It's removed the vocals for us so that we can hear what's going on musically underneath. So then if you wanted to, you could play along with the app. You could take out the guitar just to practice your timing. You can speed things up, slow things down, whatever you want to do. Say that you upload cover videos to YouTube and you just want to take the guitar part out of a song and you want to play the guitar and then upload your cover. You can do that. Say that you want to take out the vocal from a song and upload your cover to YouTube without the vocal but with your voice in its place, you can do that. And you can keep the backing vocals of the original song in there if you want to. You can put your own backing vocals in there if you want to. So you can really decide how much of the song you want to put into it when you then release or just do covers for fun. It might just be something that you're interested in doing it or just using it as a practice tool, just getting used to playing the guitar, how well you keep time, whether you're practicing your singing and you just want to sing along with a song, record it and then listen to it back with your voice in the place of the lead vocalist's voice and just see how it sounds. It's a great tool in order to get better. This is the thing, that this is going to accelerate your learning to its fastest speed because you're now dissecting the information in so much more detail than you previously could. And it's allowing you to play and sing and do whatever you want to do, even mix a track that you know really well in a different way to suit your own purposes. So I'm now going to press on the reset button, which is now taking the mix of the tracks back to where they were. It's actually taken everything back. So you can see that the metronome now isn't lit up. So we should theoretically hear this as the song is originally. And there it is. But I still want to have this in E, in standard tuning, rather than E flat, so it's still relevant to what I'm playing on my guitar. So let's get rid of that. What I want to do now is take it back to a chorus, because I want to hear the harmony vocals and not the lead vocal. This is the new function uh, that has come in. And there is actually a harmony on there. So let me get rid of the lead vocal. And we're going to just hopefully now hear the instruments and the harmony vocals. There it is, we can hear those. Just going to jump in here because this is still pitch shifted. So these are the harmonies as they would be in standard tuning. So you might be doing a cover of a song and you think, why isn't this bridge, why isn't this pre-chorus or chorus sounding exactly as it does on that original record with the vocals? It might be that you're just missing a harmony line. You might be singing a wrong note, but this allows you to separate up the tracks. Well, separate up 
the members of the band effectively and listen to them independently and just listen to what the backing vocalists are singing in order to get your cover exactly as it is. Say for example, you wanted to hear them a little bit more clearly and take the instruments down. So straight away, you get an appreciation of the notes that are being sung and you can just listen to them as clearly as you want because they are now isolated. I mean, this technology is just crazy. What can be done nowadays? But it's crazy for what it's going to allow you to achieve and what it's going to allow you to learn about your own playing, your own singing. Having said that, I'm now going to click on the plus and then the files app again. I'm going to select greed again, but this time just break it up into maybe the five instruments option that we had before. So let's click on it in exactly the same way that we did before. And I'm now going to choose uh, vocals, drums, bass, guitar, other and I think other is probably going to be if there are some keys in there it will pick that up so now we submit it and it goes through the same process as it did previously so that's it now done again it took about two minutes so I'm now going to press on the five track version of the song and it's going to start playing automatically We'll take out everything but the guitar. So let's uh, get rid of the vocals, the drums, bass. And you can see that when I'm dragging down, you can see there's an explanation of what it is on the screen. So guitar, here we have it. And we'll leave it about there. And now we're just hearing the guitar. And now we've got a clean version of what we heard earlier, which would be the and you can hear that I'm just a semitone higher. So let's change it, get back down. And now when I want to play along, I'm now back in the game. And now we get those dirty guitars that are coming in with the distortion. And you can hear that. You know, really clearly, even the. You can hear the octaves as well. So we've just isolated the guitar parts, which is great if you're just learning to play the guitar. You want to see what's going on in a particular song. If you want to do a guitar cover, as I've already mentioned. I think the best way to describe what this app can do for people is unlock their creative potential because so much is lost, especially on this channel. When I'm doing analysis videos, I'm explaining things and pointing out things that people miss, uh, whether they are musicians themselves or whether they're just fans of the music that we're listening to. There's so much that will fly under the radar because you can't slow things down. You can't isolate the... You can now, but you couldn't previously. You couldn't isolate members of a band and just see what they are playing and then slow down what they are playing so that you can learn to play it yourself at a digestible level. <laughs> what I mean by that is something that you can process. It's not too fast. You can slow it down. You can hear all of the notes that are being played and they're not going to pass you by and you're not going to miss out on details that are really important. If you are just creative musically, this is going to maximize your creativity by giving you access to everything that you want in just one app. It's just a one-stop shop for pitch shifting, uh, you know, tempo adjustments, you know, practicing covers. This app, because it's on my phone, I can link my phone via Bluetooth to my speakers in the studio 
and everything that I'm doing on this app, I can have coming through the speakers via Bluetooth. So it means that I can jam along with songs. I can take out the guitar if I want to and have it just coming out full blast and just you know, plug my guitar in, jam along with songs. If you're in a band, you might have recorded an idea for a song in the studio, but when you get it home, you think, oh no, the vocal isn't quite sitting properly with that underlying chord take the vocal out and come up with a new melody. And like I've already said, there are so many applications for this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I am really just scratching the surface of the applications for this app because of just how I would use it, but you might use it totally differently. Like I said, if you're a drummer, you'll take the drums out, you'll do covers of songs with your drumming on there and you know, vocals, guitars, it goes for all of the instruments that you can isolate with this particular app. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's not the kind of video that I do normally, but I do think it is gonna make a huge difference to your musical lives. Anyway, click on that link in the description below to download the app, have some fun with it, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!